Hi, my name is Kristen Ulmer. I'm a fear and anxiety expert and author of The Art of Fear. Let's talk about gratitude. Gratitude practice is big right now, like writing down 10 things for which you're grateful. It liberates you from automatic judgments and allows you to appreciate your life. And it doesn't just make you complacent, say, with the house, career, or wife that you have. Proven by science, it actually drives you to be more creative and motivated to do more and create an even better future. That being said, the downside of gratitude practice is it's usually used as a form of spiritual bypassing, like Kramer saying serenity now on Seinfeld. And we all know artificially created moments of positivity, they don't work. Research also shows that if you try to override something bad in your life, like fear about the leaky roof, frustration at work, anger at your husband, it leads to something called amplification. That fear, frustration, or anger, yeah, you guessed it, will only become amplified, blowing you up with negativity down the road. Given this, if you are feeling any strong emotions, especially fear because it's the big one, what I recommend you do so all this doesn't happen is you include these emotions on your gratitude list. Now, this is probably not what you're expecting, but unless you want your gratitude practice to become some airy-fairy thing that your friends roll their eyes about, watching you only become more afraid, frustrated, and angry until you explode, consider this. Gratitude practice is about challenging prior beliefs, labels, and judgments, creating an openness to experiencing things in a new way. What if then those things are, if that's what you're feeling, fear, frustration, or anger? Add to your list then gratitude for fear, gratitude for frustration, gratitude for anger. They're here for a reason. And if they been jumping up and down trying to get your attention, now is the perfect time to experience them in a new way. Then watch magic happen. Do this and not only will these strong emotions not wind up amplified later, but you'll actually have a moment of peace and clarity around them of why they're here in the first place and what message or insight they can offer you. Like, hey, fix the roof, make a change at work, Have that difficult conversation with your husband. This way they become the things that drive you to be more creative and motivated to do more and create a better future, which is what gratitude practice is all about. Thank you. And if you like this video, please subscribe, pass it on. Also comment below. Do you have a gratitude practice or do you have an opinion about them? I offer very out of the box advice on learning how to be comfortable with being uncomfortable. And I'll keep posting original content as long as I gain support and comments from people such as yourself. Thank you.